So, just another quick video about Virtual D-Day 2025 and a couple of new scripts that's been added to the latest public release. Uh, but actually, you can see them here, like you would expect. It's probably because they're a little, little weird and they're probably for very specific purposes. But I think we should go through them just to, so people know what they can actually do. So, you can see them here in the standard lock. But if you go into the early access lock, um, you can actually see them here in the second last latest version, but then, yeah, of course, also in the latest. And that's these two, Effect PPM Deck and Effect PPM Deck Tap. So what did they do? Well, let's go into Virtual DJ and find out. So uh, I mapped them here, uh, and they actually have to do with setting the uh, length of the effect by setting the PPM detected on the effect. So normally the effect would just take grab whatever's in here, right? That's how it meshes everything up uh, to have the effect be in time. But now you can overrule that. So uh, what that means is that if I click here, this says that it's actually running uh, one beat. And even if I change it, it'll still be one beat. What you're changing with the script is actually just what is seen as one beat by the effect. So if you change it, it won't be 118 BPM necessarily. It'll be something else, and it'll calculate its its length of the effect uh, based on this setting still, but based on whatever you put into this. So I mapped that down to this here. So uh, if we look at the f uh, this one uh, first, you can see it here. You can see I have something called effect BPM deck off. When you put that in, it go back goes back to normal, and then it detects from here again, or it gets the information from here again. And then we have this says off here. That's because I've added this in, so you can actually also query this. So now it'll show whatever you set this to. But the actual script on it is effect BPM deck 59. And I chose that because 59 is half of 118. So that means that if I now play a regular echo, which has a length, so this is just the current effect on the current deck, unless you put in something else, then it'll just... Uh, change what is perceived as one beat by the echo effect. So if I click this, so right now, let's just do that first. Right now I have a regular one beat echo, like you would expect. But then if I put in, tap this thing, then it sets a 59. So now that's much slower. So the one beat will actually be much slower. So let's see. So because I have the BPM, it'll actually become two beats, right? So this, in effect, is the same as if I turn it off again. This thing does that. So now it's, you see, it says nothing. So now it's back to reading from here, 1 and 18. And then I set this to two beats. That'll be the same as this, what we just heard. Because now it did uses 118 and then it just doubles that because it's two beat and then you get that. So this means that you can actually overrule uh, the BPM that the length uh, of all the different effects is, is using to calculate everything else in it. So the length is still going into the calculation, but you can overwrite whatever it reads so it doesn't just read the deck, but read something else, what you said, right? So right now it was 59 and it was double. But let's just try this back to one beat turn this off again, now it's off, because there's also another mode for this. So I will also map that. So instead of effect BPM deck and then a number, it's effect BPM deck tap. So that means you can on the spot overrule uh, how it uh, how it uh, sees the deck simply by tapping it. The same way you tap it, uh, if you tap a different tempo because the BPM had protected wrong. In that case, you will normally tap this right or probably on your controller, to get a different BPM because the BPM was detected wrong. Now you can do it just for the effect. So that's what this thing does, and that gives some interesting, funny stuff that you can do. So let's just say, well, I'll just try to do some triples. So I'll triple some of it, and we'll see what happens. So we play. So now we got much faster. And if I turn it up again, it's actually regular speed. But let's try doing some of the triples.
you got these interesting kind of, of things you can do. You can also tap it really fast uh, to get some real, real, uh, real fast stuff happening. Uh, it can also be fun. Let me just turn it off again. Start. Echo. Tap it. And you get this kind of slapback delay, uh, echo thingy going on because you tap it so fast. Uh, but of course, it's probably more valuable to do in time to get some stuff going on. Um, but I think it's kind of fun uh, and maybe useful in some cases for like from, for some transitions and stuff. Not exactly sure yet, but uh, I just wanted to mention it since it's not in the in the release notes for the public release, only for the uh, f for the uh, early access release. But it's of course also in the public release that came after the early access release.